Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video where I tested the isopropyl alcohol along with to compare it with the heat and the denatured alcohol burn times. Uh, I really shouldn't do that kind of stuff before I go to bed because it kept me up all last night, believe it or not. Not all last night, but a bit of it because uh, the test really sooted up the pot and usually soot means an incomplete combustion so I had said that I wasn't sure if uh, isopropyl alcohol would like this type of a stove and apparently it didn't so I thought I'd try some other things here also Mike senior 39 suggested that some of the old hikers had uh, added water to the alcohol to keep it from sooting up so I thought what I'd do is I went out to Kelly Racing today to get some methanol and on the way back I stopped at Walgreens and bought 70% which I thought it was the same stuff but then I get it home and it's not. This is ethyl rubbing alcohol at 70% but I think what I'll do is show it anyway to see what happens. So what I have here are three tea light tins. One has the isopropyl alcohol at 91 percent. This has a little bit of ethyl rubbing alcohol, 70 percent volume. Funny thing is both of these cost the same amount. And in this one I have some denatured alcohol. Let's see what happens when I light them up. Can you see that? Oh, they put up one out. Okay, now these aren't as close as what they seem like in the screen here, but the isopropyl alcohol is a real yellow flame, real yellow. The rubbing alcohol, 70% by volume, is a little bit bluer but does have yellow flames on it, on the tips. And of course the denatured is all blue. So I think this would probably soot up a lot, soot up maybe not as much but some, and of course we know that the denatured alcohol soots up very little if ever. So interesting. I had a hard time getting this ethyl alcohol to light. It's not as big of flames as you can see. Although it's comparable to the uh, denatured alcohol flame. Okay. So what I want to do now is, besides putting these out, Some of you that have been watching my videos for a long time remember these coddle stoves that I played with. Basically I was looking for something to use the tops of the coddle bottles for and I did a couple of tests with these things. They didn't do too bad. But I went from this and with some suggestions I put a fan on pretty much the same kind of stove. Now what I have here is it's got a liner of a small bottle with holes on, let's see, can you see that? Holes on the inside so that the alcohol goes down in there. This was back in 2009, uh, June, I think. I think it was June. First, I called them coddle stoves, then I called this one a coddle stove with a fan. But one of my viewers, Gray Wolf 2112, said, should rename it Afterburner because of the way it, it worked. There's a little muffin fan on the bottom. So what I want to do here is just to see what happens if I add 
more air into something like this. I have a bit of the isopropyl alcohol. Squirt that down in here. Okay. I don't know, it's not very full. I hope it'll light. Okay, we got a little bit of flames there. Let that heat up just a little bit. Now what I do is I apply <coughs> electricity to the fan and we'll see what kind of results we get. I don't know, you can't see it. It's not coming out of the top. Let me get the second camera here. Now I have this on a lower battery. My other battery pack died. So this is only 6 volts going into a 12 volt battery. Or 12 volt fan. But it looks like it's turning all of the flames into blue flames. And it's swirling around in there. Interesting. Well, we're getting a little yellow there. A little yellow on the top. Well, now we're getting more. I was hoping that adding more air to it will make it burn. Let's see what happens if I stick something out here. See if it soots it. I'm not getting much soot, even though it's got the yellow flames. It's darkening it a little bit, but it's not the heavy soot like from before. I don't know, maybe this is something to look into. Still have, there's blue flames down in there, and the flames that are coming out here are all yellow. I did see, I looked up uh, isopropyl alcohol stoves and a John Fong 57, uh, J-O-N-F-O-N-G 57, did a couple of stoves where he was able to get the isopropyl alcohol to burn without leaving a lot of soot using mesh and some low cut stoves. It might be interesting to look into. So anyway, that's my old afterburner stove. If you want to look at the old ones, just look it up in my list and you can see coddle stoves or afterburner. Still got a lot of alcohol down there, it's bubbling away. Let's see what happens when I shut off the fan. Hmm, about the same amount of flames. Now this is still sucking air up from underneath and out through the holes into the stove. It's just that when I turn the fan on it pushes more air out there. Maybe I need the full 12 volts to really get this going. So if there's an interest I'll look into more about these using these kind of alcohols for the stoves. And check out that John Fong, oh, I bat at this, John Fong 57. See, look at his stoves. And I want to thank Mike Senior 39 for the suggestion of the water. I'll have to look more into that. So thank you for watching my video again.
As always, I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like Mike Sr. did. And watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.